hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another R Factor video. It's been it's been incredibly long since I last played R Factor. Um, I do apologize for that, um, but it has been so long. Um, someone asked me on stream, and was like, "Where's R Factor gone?" And I was like, "Oh, R Factor, shit! Completely forgot about the game. Um, it was an amazing game while I played it. Um, going online, I got into the." the groove of the game, like I was tandem in, I was doing everything I needed to do on the game, um, it felt good, uh, but what I want to do, um, since I last played, the, a new mod came out, it's called the SP mod, and it looks really, really, really good, everyone seems to be driving the cars from it as well, uh, but apparently the physics are a little bit different, so this is why I've started kind of like a new series, adventuring the SP mod, I don't know how long this will go, um, depends how long it takes me to learn how to drift in it, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, first this episode, I guess we're going to build our car. Uh, we might test it out if we have enough time. Um, but yeah, all good. So we're going to be jumping in with the 180SX. Um, there's some very nice cars in here. BMW E46. Um, I'll just show you all the cars, actually. Um, it shows you what this mod actually is. It's crazy. E92. There's some mad cars in here. Uh, we've got a Miata as well. Might have to try that out in the future. That looks mad. Um, RX-7 Spirit R, which is beautiful. I love that own one in real life. Um, RX-8 could be pretty good. Uh, Mitsubishi, you've got Lancers in there. I won't show you those. Um, but 370Z as well. Um, I, I want to try it out. I want to try it out. Um, I've seen a few comments say that it's not the best um, out of the pack. Um, so there's a Nissan S13 Audi Via as well. So very 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 beautiful car I'm not gonna lie uh, it looks very very nice on a VO as well PS 13 um, beautiful I love a PS 13 PS 13 is probably my favorite car I'm not gonna lie if I, if I had the money I probably would own one other than my 350z um, at the same time of course like you gotta have a you gotta have a realistic car if you know what I mean <laughs> um, so yeah on to um, still 80 RPS 13 as well. Um, that was a new mod that I downloaded just before I done this episode. Uh, it was kind of like an add-on for the 180 SX. It looks beautiful though. It looks beautiful. I kind of prefer the PS 13, uh, but still it is very very nice. Um, Nissan GTR R32. Okay, I didn't know there was an R32. We might have to explore that in the future. Pagani. Uh, we'll leave that. Subaru WRX. We'll leave that. Toyota, Toyota Supra will have a look at that I suppose very nice, very nice um, so they're very nice models absolutely sick, um, there will be a link in the description below to go to the JDM Factor uh, page and to have a look at that so yeah, I think I'm going to go with metallic paint, I just, I just really prefer metallic paint, it looks so much better uh, matte paint is quite good if you're making like a um, what should we call it? Drift missile. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> Drift missile. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at skins. Kind of don't want all these skins. I just want like a, just want like a blue. Let's go for a blue. Nice blue. That's a very weird blue actually. Yeah, let's go for blue one. That looks very interesting. That blue. Um, I don't know why I said I'm going to go for it and clicked more blues. <laughs> but there we go. All right, let's go for that blue. All right, so here we go. Um, I haven't been on this mod before, so if I'm doing upgrades that are a little bit stupid, please let me know. Uh, but once I get into the testing of the car, I'm sure I'll be able to find out. Okay, so rims. Let's have a quick butchers at all of them. Um, should we go for a diagonal view like that? Well, they could work quite well. Commerce purple. Oh, the white goes very well. TE37s. Uh, is there a car that TE37s don't look good on? <laughs> is there a car out there that doesn't? Oh, I like those. I like those a lot. Very nice. And it's already got a nice stance to it as well. Won't have to have any offset on this. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the Volks. But let's have a let's have a look through. Okay, I don't like those. Um, and the Krantz. No, let's not go for this. So I'm thinking the white. The white goes really well with the blue. Um, oh shit! I didn't buy the car, did I? <laughs> buy car. There we go. We bought the car. Now we can. Now we can add all this stuff into it. Oh my god! Oh, there's a missile paint. 
Okay. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, so, S kids, what? SP thing. Okay, pretty nice paints in there, but I, d I just want to go for a nice, nice kind of, nice kind of clean kind of street car, if you know what I mean. Uh, go for the street look. So, let's chuck on the white Volk CE8, 28N, sorry. Um, so, yeah, it's got a very nice offset already, which is perfect. Like, we won't have to change it. Um, so I guess this is um, spacers, wheel track, I don't know if this is American or not. Um, let's quickly have a look. Wheel track. Wheel track is measurement taken from the wheel on one side. Okay, yeah, so that's basically offset. Um, so basically, it's the measurement from that wheel to that wheel. It's just the American uh, version, I suppose. I don't know. Um, wow, there's a lot of upgrades. Okay. Um, so yeah, it must be American saying, I don't know. Or I'm just derping and <laughs> I haven't realised. But should we plus 15 it? Plus 15, so that's 7.5 on each side. It's not too much. That Why not? Must make it look a little bit better. Um, so let's go to... Uh, the rear now. Um, how's the rear sitting? The rear sitting pretty nice actually. So I think I'm just going to leave the rear as stock. If we do need to change it, we can. Uh, jump back into it and change it. Okay, hood. Carbon fibre. Um, rented. No, let's go to stock hood there. Okay, front bumper. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Really do like the true key. Really do. Uh, but let's have a look through the rest as well. Drift bumper. Okay. Kuki with diffuser. Okay. Charge speed. Um, an orange and diffused. Oh god, there's quite a few. I don't like that one. Okay, and nothing. I really, I just like the stock Kuki. It's, look at that, that is beautiful. That is generally beautiful. I'm going with that. Why? Okay, front fenders. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so we could get some more um, offset in here, but stock fenders, we just stick with stock fenders for now. Oi, the, those fenders are mad. Absolutely mad. Okay, you can get a lot of offset of that. Uh, should we stick with the stock for now, though? And see how that goes. Uh, rear bumper. Let's have a quick look at this. Uh, stock minus. Oh, stock minus Valances. Okay, drift bumper. Nope. Street Ings 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 kit. Nope. Too much. Too much. Um, nothing is too little. <laughs> so let's do stock minus Valances. Um, it looks so much cleaner. I'm just going for like a clean kind of street build, if you know what I mean. Uh, something you would do maybe in real life or something. Um, so there's some bolt on fenders. Okay, on the rear. Um, should we fender the rear? Um, it's kind of tempting actually. GP Sports Fender, what the fuck? Okay, let's not do that. Um, so let's just do some bolt on fenders for the rear. Um, and then we can upgrade the rear wheel track. Um, if we push it up to 30 millimeters, see if that does fit in the rear fenders or not. Um, rear bumper, rear fender, side skirts. There we go. So let's have a look at the side skirts now. Um, JDM stock kooky. Stock Nismo. I kind of want like a, a little bit less. A little bit less. No. Okay. Ah, uh, none. None suits it. None. Let's go for nothing. Um, as I said, I'm going for like a street build, so I don't want to go too all out. Uh, we want a nice, massive exhaust on this. I got a good feeling. Yes, the rocket. The rocket has just come to my aid. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that comes out too far. All that. No, it still comes out. We're going for a realistic uh, street build here, so you know, let's go for a rocket. Let's go for the rocket, mate. All over the rocket. Yeah. 
All right, tail tail lights. Why is it spinning? Uh, tail lights, black body color. Okay, that makes it look a little bit cleaner. Or carbon fiber. Is it too much blue with that? No, let's let's go for body color. That looks pretty cool actually. That looks very nice. Very nice. I like. Okay, rear wing. Okay, none looks very clean. I like that. Or a lip spoiler. That looks very nice as well. Power wing, no. Aftermatic G, uh, aftermarket. Uh, sorry, I can't speak. Aftermarket GT wing, no. Um, well, too big, too big. W what the fuck is that? Okay, it's a race wing. All right. <laughs> so I'm thinking, thinking the lip spoiler. I don't know if it's too. Uh, is it too much though? I don't know. If we're going for like a street build. I don't know. Let's just go for it. Lip spoiler. Let's go for it. Why not? All right, roof wing. Nope. <laughs> Just nope. Nope. Okay, headlights. All right, we've got pop up. Down, on, installed. Open, on. Nope. Sleepy. Uh, let's just stick with the down. Uh, sleepy is quite cool, but I've got a feeling like everyone will be running sleepy, so no, I don't want to do that. All right, so this is the interior here. So I'm trying to get a good view. Um, that should be a good one. Okay, stock has all the seats. Gutted has some uh, bride seats in there. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Uh, interior two, so we got some blue seats and we got some red seats. So we go for the blue. Yes, the blue matches very nicely. Yeah, that looks sick. Oh my god. Wow. Shout outs to the people that made this fucking mod, man. People that made this mod, they are my gods right now. I'm trying to see the wheel. There we go. So it's a deep dish custom or a stock wheel. Uh, should we just go for the deep dish custom? It's a little bit different from stock. Um, we can change it back if we don't like it. Okay, now engine. Ugh. Now this is going to be a problem. Uh, because obviously we're not going to be tuning this episode. Um, so I don't really want to change the engine. I kind of want to see what the stock engine is like. Or we could chuck in the RB26. Because we know that's going to perform. Uh, 2JZ as well. That could work very well. Uh, should we chuck in the RB? Let's chuck in the RB. Um, and just start our tune off of that. I'm sure it'd be fine. Okay, engine upgrades. Oh, God. You can upgrade the horsepower as well. So what horsepower was we actually running? 326. So say if we wanted to get to 450, we would need um, 100 horsepower, which is about 25%. So 10% would be 32. Yeah, about 25, above 25% maybe. 30% horsepower. Or 50% horsepower. Should we go 50% because that pushes up to like 500 horsepower. Or just below 500. Yeah, let's do 50%. See, we can work off of that. Um, obviously, I'm not tuning the thingy thing right now. Okay. Ignition timing. Increases high-end power, but reduces low-end torque. Um, reduces high-end power, but in increases low-end torque. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick stock on that for now. Uh, we're going to explore all that when we're tuning the next episode. Uh, okay, gearbox. Fully tunable, semi-automatic. Uh, okay. So six speed H pattern, no. Sequential, technically I do have a sequential here. So should I chuck that on? Fully turn tunable, semi-automatic gearbox, semi So they're designed for paddle shifters, so I don't know if that means in car or on this wheel here. Um, but I do have one, so let's see how it goes. We can always change it. That is one thing, we can always change it. So naturally, um, aspirated we're going to stick with um, I can turbo it if I do need the power okay forced induction did I just go on that yes I did <laughs> blur 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 okay tires all right two one fives on the front let's go for two one fives on the front two four fives on the rear um, it will add a nice little kind of um, it'll make our transitions snap, uh, snappier because we're gonna have that extra little grip in the rear uh, that we can tune out if we do need to 
spin up the tires a little bit more, you know what I mean? Okay. So I, I've heard that the handling packages, you have to get this right. Um, includes basic street suspension, so we don't want that. We don't want basic. Fully customizable suspension, roll bars, differentials. It's very soft with low amounts of spring travel. Okay. So that's fully adjustable as well. Uh, maximum steering lock is 55 degrees due to a wheel glitch at 60. Okay. So Nismo is stiff. I love my suspension stiff. So Nismo is probably on the highest bit of my list right now. Uh, Kenwood. Uh, low. It's a uh, fairly soft. No, I don't like soft cars. Uh, let's go for Nismo. We can change it once again if we do need to in the future. But basically, the aesthetics of our car is pretty much uh, done. I don't know what the hell just happened. What did I do? Uh, but yeah, pretty sick. Um, let's go to the vehicle right here. Um, there was a way to get rid of this that you could just view it. Uh, but as you could probably see, um, it is looking very nice. I love the blue seats inside as well. Um, so we're going to be drifting this next episode. I'm sorry that there was no drift in this episode, but it's been 17 minutes uh, since I started, so it's been a very, very long time. And seeing as I haven't played this in a very long time as well, um, I'm not going to be jumping online at all, uh, because if I jump online, it'll be an absolute nightmare. So hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. Um, it's been fun. Uh, so I still need to work my way back into learning um, R Factor again. Uh, but yeah car's looking pretty sweet right there uh, very 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 sweet actually um, so we got a nice view of it there um, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh, we built a very nice 180 and let's hope it drifts pretty well next episode or we're going to start tuning and getting this performing to how we want it so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time